most famous physical therapist on the internet. Howdy folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Lonnie's having trouble with the timer. All right, today, Say Brad, no we're going to talk about the top 10 cervical herniation disc exercises. Right. And stretches, maybe we could right, say. Right, right. Um, and this is kind of a progression. Right, we're going to give you 10 different options. You're going to work with them. If it doesn't show immediate relief or after two or three repetitions, you should stop. You know, if it seems like it's making it worse or hurting, go to the next one. Yeah, yeah. the key to these, Brad, is that, isn't it, that you have to find the movement that's going to take away your pain. Right. Make it, you know, stop going down the arm right. or whatever. If you've got a neck problem, it goes into the shoulder. A lot of times it'll go into the to this neck will refer to the shoulder blade area and then progress down into the arm. So it can go all the way into the hand. Right, all the way down. So depending, you may have it to the hand or just to the shoulder. And I have people come in with shoulder pain and find out it's from their neck. Uh, we're not getting into that too right. much. Ideally, we're to, you want to start getting that pain to go out of the hand first or, yep. or forearm first or up here first. Exactly. And start going up into here and maybe even feel a little more intense up here. Right. And then eventually go away. So we're going to refer to that as centralizing. If we say centralizing, that means it's going up to the neck where it yes. belongs, the center. Okay. All right. So we're looking at a herniated disc in the neck. And so if we can look at the, the, the neck, there's just simply seven vertebrae up there. Right. And the disc up here are quite a bit smaller than the big beefy disc down in the lumbar. Mm -hmm. So there isn't as much to herniate, but they can get in the wrong place and start pinching the spinal nerves. And when these nerves get, the peripheral nerves, when they get pinched, that's when the nerve, the, the pain, the numbness, the tingling refers down the shoulder and into the, the arm and hand. Yeah. Yep. So we've got to unpinch those nerves basically. So that's what these stretches are pro designed are, to do. Exactly. All right. Let's start off with the first one, huh, Brad? Yep, this is kind of the go-to. Just see how things respond. Oh, You're by gonna... the way, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. Yeah. We got some subscription buttons over here or down below. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. There you go. Back to it, Brad. So the first one, chin tucks. Make sure you're up with good posture in your chair. You're not going to do it like this. We need to be up like this. And Bob will show you from the front. I'll show you from the side and you'll do chin tucks like this. You're not going chin down. Right. You're not going chin up. Right. You're just backing the car up here. Yep. That's backing a good way to put it. Up. If you want to yeah. call your head a car, you're backing yeah. the car up. Okay. Again, when you're doing this, if the pain centralizes going more up the arm or towards the back of the neck, then that's, that's a good sign. That's one exercise you can work with. Uh, if it gets worse, you actually may have, we have to, may have to do it a different way then. Exactly. Go on yeah. to the next one. We've got yeah. nine more to go. The uh, next one, you need a chair that has a backrest that goes about to mid-back. It should not come up to here or to the head because you're going to actually do a little bit of a chin tuck and then start to go back like this. And you're actually going yeah, to lean up over the chair. Yeah. It, it provides you a support there. Exactly. Now, I found a lot of people with herniated discs... I'll have them start do this. They'll get the butt to here and say, yeah. oh, that hurts. And, yeah. and then you don't do that That's one. That's very typical. Or we tell them to work within that range. Right, exactly. Yeah, just start by doing a, a short extension and then eventually go further and further. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll go right to our next number. Number three. And, yep, and I'll take a towel roll and I'll roll it up. If, they're, if the person is really tender and they don't have much movement, I'll get a thicker towel roll and they're more comfortable. And I'll say, do this. Don't pull real hard, but just snug. Give and, your neck some support. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah, that feels better. And you go back farther. And with repetition by the third or fourth one, oh, that's going better yet. And if, if that's the situation, you know you're, you're right on. This is something you want, want to do with a tie-on, by the way. You yeah. want to have a nice loose collar. Exactly. To, to Take way. these ties off and yeah. open up your collar. Do it with a T-shirt on works great. Right. You know? Right. Um, so as you get more range of motion, you get thinner. And, and I'll, Bob will do it oftentimes. Right? You probably go right away with, what's the name of the edge of the towel, Bob? Uh, s s shelfage. <laughs> the shelfage of the towel. The shelfage. But you take the towel, and I like that also because you can get more specific. Right. The problem that... It tends to catch on the shoulders. On the shoulders, yeah. So you got to lift it up off the shoulders. Yep. It's kind of nice to have a second person. Yeah. And I'm going to go, it's usually low in the neck. That's usually where a lot of the, the herniations are, C6, 5, 6. 
And there I can feel pressure right at about C6 right there. And I'll even bring it up this way, Brad. Yeah. Oh. And, and it goes along with the... Right. Yeah. So I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way, too, if it works. Like Bob was saying, so you can see your thumbs. And you got that rabbit ear thing. Right. right you make little rabbit ears like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and sure And you can watch the rabbit ears. Yeah, so there's little rabbit ears. <laughs> I like that. The other thing, Brad, that I often do, like let's say the, the pain is going down this arm. Sure. I'll have him just grab at the right arm then. Right, because that, it, it, that just bothers it. Yeah, too. yeah good, too. good point. So if you have bad shoulders and that's not possible, that, you just cannot do that. Right. And that, as a therapist, I'll do it for them. Sure. You know, yep, if, if I've done shoulders, that too. Yep. Yeah, if you okay. have bad shoulders. You know, at, at this point, Brad, we might want to say, too, if, if it just seems like we, you can't get into extension mm -hmm. and it's not helping, it's not making the pain get better, right. sometimes we do have you bend to the side sure. of the pain. you bet. So as we face you here, let's say the pain is going down this arm. So you first do a chin tuck. Again, a couple of chin tucks. And then now you're going to put your, try to put your right ear down onto your shoulder. And this has been one that, uh, I'll tell you, this is the one that helps me. Mm -hmm. And this is the one I had a dentist. Um, who, you know, was always bent one way. Right. And, right. and he found out this is the one that took it. It took it right out of the hand, out of the arm. Right. And he started feeling it more up here, and eventually it went away. Right. So chin tuck to the right side bend. Maybe it chin tuck left side bend. Whichever one starts to take the pain away. Right. Usually it's if it's the, the right arm, you're going to go to the right. Yeah, but not exactly. always. Almost most cases. Sure. Yeah. Um, the one thing I want to make very clear is do not force these. You're going to do these exercises gently. You can repeat them, and if things aren't getting better within, you know, four to five repetitions, it's not the right thing. Yeah. Don't think that if I pull harder, if I do something harder and force through it, it's going to pop and let go, because that's not the case. No, it's a, this takes a while, and you might have to do this for a couple of days before you see him benefit right, sometimes. Right. Right. So. And then the next thing, if, if I don't get any good results in the seated position, we'll try laying down. Yeah, especially when people are really sensitive and everything's firing them up. Right, um, exactly. And you need to do this on a firm surface. A bed's not going to work. A carpeted floor works good. If you have a plinth at home like this, that's good. Ba ha ha. Who has a plinth at home? Do you, do you roll up a towel at all, Tim? Yeah, I'll do that sometimes, yep. But, you know, if, if they're comfortable laying like this, and, and then I'll ask them, where is the symptoms in there? Oh, my fingers are still tingling. Then I'll have them start to do some chin tucks like this. So I'm trying to touch. I say, touch the back of your neck with this part of your head touching. Right there, push that down as your chin tuck. kind of in the way there, Brad. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are my magnetic cheaters, Bob. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. sometimes what we were talking about, sometimes I, have, I put a towel yep. like that too and have exactly. them do chin tucks that way too. Yep, and that actually... Gives kind of you a little more range of motion. Easier, yeah. And if you do this and all of a sudden your hand, the tinkling and numbness starts leaving your hand, boy, you are in gold because things are in the right way I, to go. I often even put this arm just to get it in a little better position, Brad. I'll put it under sure. a pillow like that. Yep. Good. So. All right. All right. Now, yeah. if that's not working. We're giving you lots of options yep, here. This is another option. Actually, as a therapist, I go to a different option, but that's not an option if you're by yourself. Where's that towel roll? Yeah. This one, I do like to have a thick towel roll because it, it offers more support because you're going to go off the end of the bed and you're going to gently go down and you're only going to do this one if when you do this, it feels better. If you do this and you get back and it feels stuck and it hurts and everything is getting worse, just skip it. This one you need to feel comfortable with. This, like, like Bob talked about before, can be real helpful. I've had, like, let's say again, this is the painful arm. Sometimes I've had them take their, their sure. hand and do that, yep. or even take this hand and put it underneath their head, Brad, yep. you know, without the towel, yep. Yep, and like just lower this? it down. Sure. Yep. That's one lady I had that this is the only one that would work for her. Okay, great. She, she, she could work it that way. Okay. Then you're into the pr uh, prone position. You right, yeah, yeah, this is the watching TV position, because I, I know when I was a kid, this is how I used to watch TV <laughs> back in the old days. Not anymore. Back, so you want to get they had TV repairmen. Yeah, <laughs> neck extension like this. So if you just take your, you can take your thumbs like this right under your chin and go like this. Again, you, it's the same movement. Right. It's just in a different position. I think, Bob, this one I've only used with people that things are getting pretty good already. 
if sure. it's out of the hand and they got pretty good range of motion, they can do it in a seated position and we're still trying to get the, all the symptoms to go away. Uh, then, I agree. Th then this is towards the end of the, the treatment. Sure. Usually not the first day for sure. Um, okay. So if you get stuck, you might try traction? Is that what you're saying, Brad? Exactly, Bob. And I'm, we're just going to show you two examples of traction. Uh, one is very inexpensive and it's called the over the door. Obviously, this is not on the door, but this is what the unit looked like. So they're, they're cost about $20 online. We're going to demonstrate this next week, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're going to yeah. go through this. Uh, and you just have a weight here. You have a bladder full of some water. It pulls down. And, oops, I've got it locked up in here. Get it on the, the free mode. And this, I'm not going to take the time to go into it now, but the head actually goes in here, and it's comfortable. It goes around your chin and your head, and it pulls up, and it literally gives your neck some traction, and that can be very comfortable. Then the next step is, there's more than one model, but this is one I like. Well, he leaves the camera. I'll just do a little song and dance. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the Saunders home yeah, unit. These are nice. These are really nice. I, uh, and the, the price is not too bad. If, if, if they work and they, they it's have you avoid a surgery, yeah. it's worth the three or $400 to buy one of these. And again, we're going to do a, a, a video on both of these units for some detail because it, it's going to take me, you know, at least five or 10 minutes between each one to show you how to use these. Sure. But they're two good options. And plus that gets us to 10. Right. We, we hit 10. <laughs> All right. Once, once, remember, once again, Brad, Bob, we're not just pretty. Yeah, we're pretty ugly. But no, look we're at this, pretty Bob. helpful. Oh, yeah, that's so. right. Yeah, we're helping everyone. So, all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.